This video tech tip focuses on the two main user interface changes that were recently rolled out in SOLIDWORKS 20 Service Pack 3. We've seen an increase of technical support calls coming in in regards to these changes, so we wanted to take this opportunity to demystify the issue. The first thing you'll notice in the drop down toolbar is that there's no longer a help menu available. SOLIDWORKS has taken that menu and consolidated it and put it into the help menu in the upper right corner where the question mark icon is. You can still access the same help options that were in the previous pull down menu, but now they're just consolidated in this location. So things like check for updates, checking about SOLIDWORKS for your serial number, activating, deactivating your licenses can all be done from this convenient location. This falls in line with typical software help menus that you may be used to with other programs. So this change makes total sense. The biggest change comes from the quick access toolbar that you see here that you've probably known and, and use on a daily basis for a long time to come. When it's first upgrading to Service Pack 3, you may notice that the quick access toolbar is no longer there. SOLIDWORKS has consolidated, and if you go into your customize options, there's now an option to put the quick access toolbar into the command manager, like so. You'll notice it shows up under the feature tab in part mode up in this upper left furthest part of the command manager and everything else has been shifted to the right. So you can just access, just go to tools, customize, go to your quick access tools and just choose the option to show in the menu bar. And that will bring it back to the, the same interface that you're used to seeing up to this point. So no reason to panic. I hope this tech tip helps. Thanks for watching.